This is the Transformers The Last Night Premier Edition Voyager Class Decepticon Nitro or Nitro Zeus. Don't think Hasbro was able to get the copyright for the Nitro Zeus name, but they shortened it to Nitro. Uh, very, very nice looking figure. Uh, one of the best Voyagers from the uh, uh, Transformers uh, Bayverse or Cinematic Universe we've, we've seen. And the figure is part of Wave 3 of these Voyager class figures for the Last Night uh, toy line. And, yeah, I don't know how to say that. I picked up this figure at my local Toys R Us. Came out with Scorn. Not picked up Scorn yet, uh, but soon. Maybe we'll, we'll, after this one. But, uh, very, very cool looking figure. Um, one of the, one of the extras i should say in the movie didn't really do much it was just there for comic relief or just a sidekick for megatron since there's no longer starscream shockwave or sound or anybody like that alt mode looks nice but i think it is severely inaccurate and uh we'll see we'll talk about that later um so it comes with a craptastic set of instructions absolutely useless there was it it was it's very very difficult to follow the instructions you're better off just figuring it out how you, you can look at it first glance just to see how things go but then after a while you you'll just have to figure it out on your own and absolutely ridiculous instructions now the figure apparently feels like it's a titan it's a titan's return figure uh, because of the head and immediately you'll see that his head is his head is wobbling and you can remove it uh, that's one feature that's not in the instructions it doesn't say anything so we'll talk about that first you can fit a titan master in it this is uh, skull crunchers titan master uh, if you want to and in alt mode a titan master will also fit in the cockpit this is misfire um, I don't know why they did this. It's probably because they wanted to cross-sell uh, movie toys with the Titans Return fans, or uh, I don't know. Or was was there was probably a scene? There was, I don't know if, 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 if there were really a scene, but probably Hasbro was asking Michael Bay, "Oh, what's this guy? Does he his head got gets lopped off, or um, he uses?" Uh, a different body and then they get this head from another transformer and they put it in uh, into his into his bodies if it's something like that then maybe that's the reason they had it removal but as it is the head does nothing when you remove it except as as a prop the only thing I can think of is in age of extinction you remember uh, the <clears throat> the company of what's Stanley Tucci's name uh, the, the, the actor Stanley Tucci played a character who had a, a company that tried to make their own transformers using transformium and i think they were trying to recycle shockwave and when they recycled bits and pieces of him they they mounted the head of shockwave onto the av k k ksi was it the name ksi boss or something like that they put it there some reason i have no idea but uh here is the dark of the moon shockwave just in case you want to see how it looks like and he kind of reminds me of lugnut maybe he would have would have been nice if they would just called him Lugnut. Um, but they, Michael Bay wanted that Nitro Zeus as because uh, it was a code name for something, for an Iranian airstrike or something like that. But anyway, but uh, they wanted to, to, to do Nitro Zeus, which I thought was hilarious. But there you go. There he is with uh, Lugnut. I think Lugnut would have named that name. But... Okay. Uh, let's talk about the figure. In general, I do love the sculpt. I do love the uh, the design of this figure. Transformation is another story. Absolutely crazy transformation. Tons of kibble, tons of pieces that just swivel and then pop off. Uh, these are very loose, so you know that the official transformation is like this. But I'm I'm pretty okay having these these thrusters right here. And if he just wants to attack some Autobots, just do this, launch the missiles. But that's it. I don't there there, there is not enough ratchet uh, in that joint to keep it up, keep those thrusters up for a long time. As you you play with it, it's gonna fall down. So that this way it's fine. He has a built-in sort of mega crossbow of sorts on his right arm, which actually becomes the cockpit part of the fuselage. 
the left arm has the thrusters which turns into a big blasting gun which makes sense because i think if he used to be shockwave uh, the torso and the arm would tend to look like the shockwave um, uh, figure with with the blaster or something like that i don't know uh, but all in all uh it works for me he's a little bit asymmetrical uh, asymmetric uh, even the joints are because of transformation but uh I'm pretty cool with it, uh, apparently. Um, uh, the box says the figure is a little bit uh, d d darker gray or sort of like a navy gray, like the hull of a battleship. Uh, here, he's more of like a sports car gray uh, with a very flake, glossy type of plastic, which I'm not complaining about. I like it. Uh, I'm sure over time it will deteriorate, but as it is, it's very, very cool. Articulation for the figure. He's got a ball joint and neck. No waist or torso articulation. He's got a ball hinge shoulders, bicep swivel, hinge elbow that goes only up to here. This is hindered by the molding on, on this part of the hand. Arm, ball hinge, hips, thigh swivel, hinge knees. Uh, and this part of the knee does fold up to cover the thigh, which is very nice. I like that. And hinge feet uh, because of transformation so all in all very very cool i like it so let's transform him remove these missiles and I'll expect a lot of things to go popping off uh and, and, and i can guarantee already that uh i've tried to transform several times it's just crazy first one to pop off is really the head so you might as well just go ahead and remove that head and prepare the neck for transformation. Transform the neck, you go do this, and then there is a part of the structures that tell you to just fold the head downward. If you try and do that, like he says, uh, rotate the rotate the head and just fold it downward like that. Um, first, if you don't, if you're doing it for the first time, you're gonna just plop off, lop off the head. So what you want to do is you wanna you wanna fold this thing up like that. And that's where the head is going to rest later on when we transform him uh, but uh, we're like okay, let's keep it on let's see how long it will stay okay next thing you want to do you want to transform this arm this arm will become the uh, nose cone or the jet part of nitro so the cockpit part my bad okay uh, and just fold everything like that and they tab in nicely like that landing gear is right here we'll do that later Okay, uh, then what you want to do is you want to move this whole section down here to his crotch. This whole section will move up to his head, and this will become the jet. That will sort of become the jet. And these two will fold off to the side, and, uh, and then this one is going to fold down like that. Uh, and this is, this is what the jet is supposed to look like in final. Anyway, we'll get, I'll show you. So remove, detach the, uh, or split the crotch piece fold the right leg up that's the only one that folds upward this one doesn't you got to go ahead and fold down this entire piece just untab it right there fold it fold it fold it all the way down here to the middle and then rotate this piece fuselage uh, the cockpit and then you're gonna find a way to just compress that whole shoulder assembly and attach the cockpit onto this part of the fuselage like that if you've done that then hooray you're one fourth done okay next thing you want to do is you want to fold this one up all the way onto the other side like that so both shoulder pads should be there fold the wrist inward fold the cannon inside that will be the jet yeah, that'll be the thruster of the jet fold the entire shoulder assembly here and then here's where the head will rest. So make sure you fold that inner joint down like that, not this one. This one is the landing gear, so it's gonna stay right there. And the head is sort of just gonna face like that into that empty gap right there. Okay, so that's the center fuselage. Okay, then what you wanna do is you wanna transform the leg pieces, right? Easy, easy as pie, like that. They tab in they're gonna tab in right here oh, sorry they're gonna fold like that they're gonna tab in right there and that slot right there is gonna tab in right there onto that left arm so I'm gonna do this one first and tab it right there 
Then do the other side, fold it back down here, fold it like that, it tabs right there, rotate the thigh, fold the foot inside, and then again, that slot right there is going to tab in right here, and then uh, somewhere here, this one is going to tab in right there, uh, I think, oh, yeah, here, right there. just tab in know, that feet onto that tab right there okay so we're almost done um, okay uh, then we're gonna do the wings the wings are a little bit tricky the the instructions say to just pop that it just tells you to just unhook the thruster cover and it, every time you do that it, it tends to pop off So I'm going to try and show you again how I did that. Okay. So you're supposed to untab here, right here, just a little bit like that. But it always pops off. I don't know why. This, the clearance is just not there. It just, it will always pop off, which is stupid. Anyway, so unfold the wings like that. Then fold this here. And that's the wing. Okay. Go ahead and fold it down. All the way tab tab the wing here on that joint right there tab it on like that so it doesn't move and then uh, this piece like this whole black piece right there is the one that's gonna tab in uh, right here and then oh sorry open up this one and this one's gonna tab in right there okay so that's what you want to do super crazy but right there and this one's very loose on my copy of the figure uh, slightest touch will fold it but it, it will stay but it's a little bit loose okay so let's try and do the same thing on the other side let's see if we'll have more success with this one uh, go ahead and untab right here oh wonderful it did <laughs> hopeless just Untab and then fold out and then tab back in. Okay, this one's pretty tight, so that's great. If I do find another nitro on clearance, I might just get another one, just to compare uh, this wingtip. If it's if it suffers that Blitzwing Megatron Titans Return, Blitzwing Megatron Syndrome. Oh, sorry. Fold this one out. My bad. Lock it in. Fold it down. Tab. Tab and tab it in right there so uh, transformation is crazy but oh sorry there's another peg right there I'm supposed to tab in tab in right there okay let's just finish transforming this figure and this one is supposed to tab in right there in that slot right there Ooh. okay so crazy crazy transformation but a very, very solid alt mode. Let me put my uh, turntable, get it ready. Excuse me, what am I doing? Okay, and then the missiles, the missiles just fit in here. Uh, right there. that head just keeps wobbling as I mentioned earlier the cockpit cockpit will fit a Titan Titan master and there's even a slot uh, inside that cockpit uh, for the tab on the leg of a Titan master so interesting interesting little gimmick pull out the landing gear and there you go there is Nitro in his supposedly uh, fighter jet mode. Very inaccurate fighter jet. I, I, it looks great, but I think in the movie, if I'm not mistaken, he was a JAS-39 um, Gripen? Was he a Gripen? I, I, I can't, honestly, can't remember as clearly now, but kind of looked like this, but the Gripen had, a, uh, had extra wings here and had a longer fuselage uh, thrusters, but... Um, 
I don't know. I don't know what Hasbro was thinking with this one. Uh, this one looks really great. I, I like it as it is. Looks like a MIG, uh, but I think it should have been a Gripen. A Gripen. So, okay. Um, maybe we can do some comparisons. Put him down for a while. Uh, let's 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 compare him with uh, other fighter jets that we have right here. Uh, Megatron, the Cybertronian fighter jet, right there. So they look okay. This is the Voyager Megatron, obviously. Uh, okay, looks good. And then I do have the Revenge of the Fallen Starscream, the Raptor, which I think is a better form of comparison because they're both Earth based jet modes. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Well done, Hasbro. So, all in all, uh, I like it. Um, I, I think it's a great addition since he, he did appear in the movie. I think I think the, the design, the engineering of the figure is pretty solid. Um, there are a lot of pieces that tend to, to just uh, pop off unintentionally um, and I think it's 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 more of execution I think it's a um, it's a case-to-case -case basis uh, it, it, it could be it could be loose on on your copy or, or tight in another person's copy but uh, I, I don't know I, I, I wish it could have been done better um, I, I, I wish the joints could have been more tighter as it is uh, it, it has a very solid alt mode and very solid uh, robot mode but uh, the transformation is just a little bit too murky uh, and, and, and all over the place. Uh, what am I saying? It's not all over the place. The it's a little bit complex, what I'm trying to say. The transformation is a little bit complex. Uh, it harkens back to a lot of the Revenge of the Fallen, how, the, how some of the Revenge of the Fallen figures transformed back in the day. And, and, and it's interesting for, for uh, longtime fans of, of these movie verse Transformers that, to get the more complex figure transformation. But I wished they could have fixed a lot of the loose, looseness of some of the pieces that tend to pop off during transformation. That could have been easily addressed uh, with quality control. Uh, maybe tweak the engineering a little bit just to uh, fit the clearance here and there. But, it, but as it is, uh, I, I, I do like everything on paper that they've done, they tried to do with this figure. Uh, should you get it? Sure. I think you should get it on retail. Don't pay scalper prices for it. Um, definitely one of the better ones we've we've seen uh, from the Movieverse line of Transformers. Uh, not perfect, but but pretty darn good. So nine out of ten for me. There you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review. The Transformers, the last night premiere edition, Decepticon Nitro. Thanks for watching.